Well, the ones that impact on us, I think, are the, you know, the virtualization um, and the sort of um, continuing just development of, you know, just sheer power and bandwidth. If you add those three together, some people call it clouds and things like that. Uh, that undoubtedly is, uh, is going to change the whole dynamic. Um, I think that, you know, mo most of us think we'll see as much progress in the next five years as we've seen in the last ten, and we've seen a lot in the last ten. So um, it's you know if you can if you can get big government organisations attached to that, we could take service delivery a long way. I think it's still the internet. I think it's still the internet, and the reason for that I think is that uh, we're still we're still finding new and innovative uses for internet-based technologies. So the internet itself, okay, that's fine. I think it's the the whole technology set that goes around the internet and our. Uh, ability to continue to find new uses for that capability. It's, it's been a revolution and I think the revolution is going to continue and uh, I, uh, I, I know we're doing it within our own business, we're finding ways to exploit the internet uh, through things like um, uh, cloud technologies, you know, it's, it's a buzzword at the moment but really that's just another, another means to virtualization. We've been pursuing virtualization in one form or another for years. The technology uh, that the internet brings uh, provides another channel to more virtualized uh, IT infrastructure capability. Um, the uh, communications channels that, that the internet continues to provide, we're still finding new ways to, uh, you know, to project communications over the internet. And I think uh, you know, while it's been a revolution you know, it's continuing to be a revolution. It's fantastic. Gives us plenty of opportunities um, in the future. So I still think it's the internet. I think uh, the move into web and highly portable and mobile. You know, the the iPad and others. Not that I'm name and branding, but uh, that whole direction has got to be most significant. It's the opportunity for those who may not be able to get to physical sites and to be able to be more strongly linked in their own communities but to be global not just uh, part of a much smaller uh, location so distance isn't anything now it, and that's I think the the major issue the portability the size the the capability it has in such uh, attractive features I think it is really superb it's very hard to pick because there's so many of them and I, I can't think anyone, I don't think anyone can point to a single one. Um, so, you know, you, in the press and, 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 and certainly the conference scene, you get a lot of the stuff around cloud computing, green IT, uh, virtualization, mobile, um, uh, net, uh, sensor networks. All of those things are moving very, very fast. All of those things will have an impact. I think for Seek, uh, it's actually what the consumers are doing. And I think there's three or four things in that space that are quite important at the technical level. Uh, one is uh, the mobile space, I think that's going to be quite important. Um, and as devices change and you get, get sort of ubiquitous access of, of web browsing outside of the home, um, that's going to become more and more important for companies like Seek where you're rapidly distributing information and quick information about where the jobs are or what the courses are uh, or while you're on the move between classrooms. Those sorts of things are going to become quite important. Probably um, I would say the uh, web. Even though it's been around for so long already, uh, companies are just now starting to really understand and appreciate the benefits and what it can bring to them as a company. Uh, you know, some people may have said, well, cloud computing is my damn, that's too technology focused, that's again reducing cost for IT. But from a business point of view, web technology, whether it's in the banking industry, whether it's in the financial service industry, the retail, um, you know, how to get closer to your customers, how to get into that one-to-one -one, uh, relationship with your customer. Customers want to be treated as individuals and uh, the ability for you to go out there as a, uh, as a company and then attract people into your uh, product, whatever you're selling, whether it's in the banking industry, whether it's in the retail industry, uh, airline industry, uh, people prefer and people like to work on the computers now, whether it's in their iPods, the iPads, it's, uh, you know, people love technology. And so they want to, uh, you know, interact with companies in that medium now. And uh, I find right now a lot of companies 
uh, even the ones that are at the more forefront in this area still have a long way to go in providing uh, the proper types of internet with uh, technology? I think there's a few of them. Um, I think the num number one probably would be the, 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 uh, the inflection point that we're going through right now to the, to the, mo the world of mobility. Um, we're already seeing something like 4.6 billion mobiles on Earth, mobile phones, and only 400 million of those are smartphones. And yet, interestingly enough, those 400 million generate more traffic than the other 4.2 billion. So what we're seeing is people moving from their desktops to a mobile, free, get your information anywhere, anytime. Uh, and that inflection point is huge, as we've seen in the adoption of iPads and iPhones and iPhone 4s and so on. So that's the first key point, mobility. I think the second one that's sort of sitting underneath that is, is video, where we're seeing uh, the transition from text to pictures to video. Why? Because people want to see people. They, even if, if it's virtual, they still want to see it in the most immersive way, so hence the popularity of HD and 3D and so on. So that's the second uh, key trend. I think the third one is cloud computing, uh, the ability to provide IT services or IT as a service, software as a service. Um, that's a big inflection point because, not only because of what the technology can do, but because it changes business models. It changes business models such, such that the user, the customer, uh, has a lower fixed cost and a higher variable cost. And that's transformational uh, in many industries. The fourth one I'd say is collaboration. Um, you know, as we've gone through this, the, the phases of the internet, um, what we're seeing now is productivity in terms of technology has kind of reached as far as it can possibly go. So now businesses are looking at people. How do we make people more productive? And I think collaboration technology can and has been enabling people to be that much more productive. So I think that's uh, one of the fourth trends that we see, the ability for uh, uh, people to communicate uh, and be more productive uh, leveraging the technology underneath that.